this interview, we are joined by the wonderful Siobhan, a born and bred native of Amsterdam. And even though she's been working all day, she's very kindly taking some time uh, to illuminate some information about this fantastic city. So without further ado, Siobhan, please take it away. Sweet, that is all good to go now. Thank you. Fantastic. So we are mm. sitting here with uh, Siobhan. Siobhan. Siobhan, okay. Yeah. Born and bred Amsterdam. Yes, sir. Fantastic. So first thing I've got to ask you, what is this city? Like, what's, what's the... The thing of when you think of Amsterdam? When I think about Amsterdam, I think of a place where everything is possible, uh, where people from everywhere are super welcome. And I also think about a safe place. I feel very, very safe here. Yeah. Is there any similarities? Um, or major differences between Amsterdam and the rest of the Netherlands? So for instance, if someone was to compare to Rotterdam? So I feel like we're more free here in Amsterdam. I feel like really? more things are possible here. People are f more free-minded, I feel like. I feel like in the rest of Amsterdam, maybe not Rotterdam, but if you're gonna compare it to smaller villages, people are close-minded and don't open their hearts for new people, traditions, and stuff like that. And here, nobody really cares, you know, as long, yeah, you're welcome. So that's the difference. So why, why do you think it is that here is more free? Is it because maybe of what, what things are legalized here, or is it just their culture thing? Um, I think it's a balance between that, because, of course, things are legalized here, so you can, yeah, c consume a lot of things things <laughs> but I also think um, yeah be, for example the red light districts they've been here since ages you know so I really feel like that also infiltrates yeah different way of thinking you know you don't have that everywhere like women standing behind red windows and so I think it's really a balance yeah it's interesting, I, I learned today that you buy the window yeah. for a certain time period and then you keep whatever profits. Yeah, and you can also rent it. But now our mayor wants to close the whole red light district. Yeah, because uh, because of gentrification, our city is changing. Okay. It's not as it was before. And I feel like the people who are living here now complain a lot about what Amsterdam is. And I want to change it into something different. Um, and I don't, I don't like that, you know. I feel like Amsterdam should remain. Yeah, it should, because that's what makes it Amsterdam, I feel like. Okay. You, you mentioned earlier, before we started rolling, that you really you know, love Amsterdam. You're born and bred here, you come from here. Yeah. Would you ever consider living somewhere else? Um, yeah, yeah, but, uh, yeah, because I feel like what you know you'll get used to and that gets boring, maybe. So for me, I would love to grow old in Italy, for example, uh, because I grew up here, like in the city, always busy. And like I said, the city is changing. It's not really what it was anymore. So, but I would always keep Amsterdam as my home base, you know, always a place to come home to. So, yeah. Awesome. Thanks so much. Just, just the last thing before I shoot off, what's, what's, uh, what's on the cards for you personally? So, right now, um, you know, you're making a lot of people happy, you know, serving stuff here. Yeah. Um, what, what is in your future? Or what do you see um, as, for instance, your, your dream? You wow. So, my dream. So, I would love to open a care house for people with special needs and host events for them. Um, that would really make me happy, I feel like. Also, to open that in Amsterdam, because there were a lot of possibilities here, so yeah. And maybe grow in my music, um, travel. But yeah, I really want to put my energy into, into that, you know? Like, creating a safe place also for them to involve and grow and so yeah you know what i think 
uh, with the world generally moving towards a very materialistic and financial gain, that's the most beautiful answer mm. I ever could have heard. So that's yeah. so cool. Thank you. Thank you, thank you for your time. Thank, <laughs> thank you, Rob. You as well. <laughs> awesome. Cool. Yeah, nice. Thank you. <laughs> oh, it was cool, man.